to deal with emotional problems. Okay. It's the same way. I choose something which is bothering me emotionally. And I focus on that. And I say, well, what do I feel? I may have ten different emotions. I may feel simultaneously anger and rage and bitterness and jealousy and rejection and guilt and fear all at the same time. So that I can't work on ten radio stations at the same time. Okay? So I have to choose one emotion. Now what is my suggestion? My suggestion is that you choose the emotions of weakness. For example, what do I mean by that? We have anger only because of the hurt or fearful or guilty. Anger is a secondary emotion. So if I tap on my anger, I may have some results, but that anger is being supported by the fact that I am still fearful or still hurting. So it's much more effective to go to the emotion behind the anger. Now, many people don't allow themselves to feel about emotions, especially men. We have been programmed to be able to feel anger, but not to feel hurt. We can't admit our hurt or our fear, or our pain. So it's much more comfortable just to be angry. So if I'm just tapping on that anger and I'm not getting in touch with the pain behind it, or the fear, or the guilt behind it, then it may not go away. So my suggestion is that you work on the deeper, more sensitive emotions, like injustice, hurt, betrayal, fear, and guilt. These are the more basic emotions which then give rise to the other. Okay, so I focus on the emotion, excuse me, on the stimulus, which as I said before, can be an event happening or something that I'm thinking about. And then I evaluate from zero to ten how intense it is. And then I do the procedure. Okay, so let's do that now. I would like you all to choose an emotion that, um, let's say this, why don't we just work directly with a fear? Choose a fear that you have, something that you fear. It could be rejection, it could be mice, it could be snakes, it could be uh, fear of falling. <laughs> we just choose, choose anything you like. Okay, choose any emotion that you have that you want to work with. Okay? Now focus on the stimulus <coughs> of that emotion. What is it that's happening? And focus on the stimulus and on the emotion. Now evaluate it from zero to ten. How intense are you feeling that emotion when you think of that? Stimulus? Now open your eyes <coughs> and rub on the one side saying, even though I feel this, about that, say what it is, say the name of the emotion and the name of the stimulus, I love and accept myself, three times. And then on the other side, <coughs> I choose to be free and say what the emotion is and the stimulus, or I deserve, what's my benefit? <coughs> and stated that you choose to be free. Now as you tap, you focus on that emotion. Say the name of the emotion and the stimulus to yourself. <coughs> and have in your mind that event or that stimulus and the emotion. Come on to the forehead, sides of the eyes, the cheeks, the lips, under the arms, collarbone, and sides of the hand. Now the gamut series, tapping on the gamut point, closing the eyes, opening them, looking down to the right, down to the left, circle with the eyes, circle in the other direction, humming, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, 
counting one, two, three, four, five, humming, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then stage four, repeating the name of the emotion and the stimulus, focusing on it, <coughs> the eyebrows, sides of the eyes. under the arm and collarbone and sides of the hand. Okay, that was one round on the particular motion. Now close your eyes, <coughs> focus on that stimulus and on that emotion and see how much you are feeling it from zero to ten. Now, there are some possibilities here. One possibility is that the emotion will go up because it will repent. Another is that it will change to another emotion. Another is that another event will come into my mind. Now, we don't want to go to another event at this point. That will be moving to another, or another aspect of it. I'll talk about aspects in a moment. But let's just say that it went down slightly, okay? Even if it didn't, just to understand the technique. We're going to stay on the same event and the same emotion. And I'll talk about changing later. So let's just rub there and say, even though there's some remaining, say what the emotion is, <coughs> and what the event is. I love and accept myself three times. And on the other side, I choose to be free from this remaining, whatever it is, emo say the emotion and the image. I deserve to be free, but to my benefit to be free. Okay, now we say remaining, you say remaining, you say remaining emotion, whatever it is, and stimulus. As we come down, tapping on the points, you focus on that issue and your emotion. Focus on the issue and the emotion. Okay. And then we move on to the gamut series, tapping here on the gamut point, closing the eyes, opening the eyes, down to the right, down to the left, circle with the eyes, circle in the other direction, now the fourth stage, remaining, this remaining emotion, say what it is, Focus on the event with the stimulus. As you come down, eyes, cheeks, lips, underarms, collarbone, and sides of the hands. Okay. Now close your eyes again and focus on that similar issue. Think about it. And see what you feel and how much you feel it from zero to ten. 